talking apes. So this is the story of human beings, how they started from a very uh, humble uh, creature to this present uh, creation. So you can look at the screen. This is the story. This is the journey that this ape uh, took from uh, a hypothetical animal to this homo sapiens. So let's look at how uh, did they uh, go through different stages of evolution. Neural pathway of our great ape antecedent. That's very important. The human history starts with this neural path of uh, the great ape. Because this was very important for communication. One thing is that the story of a human being is the story of human brain. So if we look at this, the present human brain is quite bigger than the chimps, than the ape the, that, took, that existed six to uh, five to seven uh, million years ago. So with the help of his uh, brain, the ape was able to be bipedal. How did this uh, happen? When the apes started struggling for his food, right? So he, he uh, spread over a large area of land and they started using different types of foods, different types of uh, uh, food items, right? And they started their upper limbs to get food. So as a result, they started walking. But one thing is that these bipedals uh, could walk on two legs, but they could not talk. They were not the talking apes. In the initial stage, they were not the talking apes. So, walking great apes, but not talking great apes. Australopithecus, they were the, they were the, the further developed form of the apes almost 4.1 million years ago they could uh, communicate through gesture or through vocalization. But their vocalization was not comparable to the speech of the modern day. Then came Homo habilis almost 2.4 million years ago. They could also communicate through gestures and they could also use vocalization. Homo erectus almost 2 to 5 million years ago they could use short utterances to communicate or conditional prepositions. Uh, they lived up to one million years ago. From Erectus came two main divergences. Homo neanderthalensis, almost 300,000 to 30,000 years. So they are quite our close uh, neighbors. They could have complex thought. Why they could have complex thought? Because they could use complex sentences. Complex sentences mean that they could use simple sentence, complex sentence. They could use com compound sentences. So the ability to make compa compound or complex sentences tells us that their thought has developed and they could think of other than food or other than the immediate things or objects that they had before them. So these were actually speech uh, societies. So Homo erectus uh, neanderthalensis had speech societies. They could communicate through speech. They were able to use certain sound, but they were not able to use certain sound. Ex for example, vowels. That's why because of their uh, articulator, for example, they could not use this uh, uh, front, uh, uh, front close sound or front open sound or front back sound. Homo sapiens, 300,000 years ago, they were the modern mans. They could use complex thoughts as well. They could use complex uh, sentences uh, because of their thoughts and uh, their society is based on communication. Now they could communicate, they could com communicate with the members of their societies. By about uh, 14,000 uh, years ago, Homo sapiens, the only hominid species survived evolution. 
so homo sapiens survived evolution and they were the modern men they were harvesting wild wheat oats and barley uh, they they were agriculturists they were tilling their own farms and they were producing uh, different types of food from the lands other than the meats that they used to get from hunting so this is a very short uh, story of the human apes